Well, welcome to this week's show. We're going to be headed up to Kentucky, uh, Rush, Kentucky. We're going to be doing some spring turkey hunting. Uh, Oscar and myself and Philip and Kevin. And uh, we had a great time up here this week of hunting. Everything was in bloom, the apple trees, the peach trees. And, of course, I sneezed my head off during the whole week. But uh, both of us killed two nice birds uh, on this hunt. I could have had two birds, but the law in Kentucky says you can only kill one bird a day. And as y'all will see on film, that we had two that come in and they i didn't think it was ever going to separate and uh, i'd get ready to shoot and but philip couldn't he wasn't on the right one so it's just back and forth and they actually seemed like he's batting our lap by the time we actually killed one of the birds but we had a great time a great week uh sit back enjoy hope y'all enjoy it
well as you can see the the first the first part of the hunt really didn't turn out too well we did hear birds we seen some birds uh, they got with hens we couldn't really do nothing with them so uh, actually what happened folks we went back to the truck and they got us some bit of some sandwiches got us something to drink and because me and Philip, we're not going to go hungry. That's one thing we ain't going to do. And uh, so we got us something to eat. Oscar and Kevin come in, and then we just split off and took off again. And y'all are fixed to see what happens then. Everything come together like it was supposed to. I think y'all are going to like this. Stay tuned. How was that? That was good. I hope the camera was in focus. See how another gobbler goes with this one. That's what they're looking at. Yeah.
folks. My first day of hunting in Kentucky. We come out here this morning. Couldn't do nothing with them with the hens. We went to the truck, got us a sandwich. Clean Philip come back out here and we set out the decoys and uh, called us every now and then a little purring, a little clucking. And had these two come in. Uh, can't kill but one a day in the state of Kentucky. You allow two birds per season. So I uh, had to let them kind of get separated. So we got this one. And then uh, after we shot, had two more come in from the lower end. And uh, they wanted to come up here, but they never did. So we'll save them for tomorrow, won't we, Philip? That's right. But uh, I'd like to thank God. Uh, got some good spurs on him. Good, good heavy bird. Got a good beard on him. Good beard here. This blessed, beautiful animal. And uh, I mean, couldn't ask for nothing else. It's like thank God for the opportunity uh, to get to come up here. We're up here at the Kentucky Antler Company in Rush, Kentucky, and uh, just having a, a good time. If you want to. We've seen, I don't know how many turkeys we've seen today, Philip. several. And they was gobbling their heads off this morning. They said they'd been silent for the last few days, so the temperature had dropped, and that's warming back up a little bit. Same thing the way they're doing at the house back home in North Georgia. But uh, they come in this evening, they didn't gobble a lick, they come in silent. But uh, they come in. So, like I said, first day, I've got one, one to go, Philip. And that's going to happen tomorrow. If they'd have let me kill them both today, I mean, you could have slept in the morning. I know. That's the bad part. Or if we'd bought you license, you could have got yours. This is true. Oh, well. Well, folks, stay tuned. You're watching Extreme Christian Outdoors. We're turkey hunting in uh, Rush, Kentucky at Kentucky Antler Company.
Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's show, and uh, just thinking, you know, when you seen that kill shot on that turkey, that turkey had no idea what it was walking into. Uh, all it knew was it heard something that it liked. Uh, it liked my calling. That was his first mistake, and uh, he come right on in. He was looking for a hen. He was looking for something that wasn't there, and lots of times that's where we are. You know, Satan, he's a hunter uh, just like we hunt, and he's hunting He's hunting souls too, just like we, we was hunting turkeys. And we put decoys out. We use calls, uh, you know, different decoys, different lures to, to get our game animal in. And Satan does that to us. He'll put different lures and different decoys out in front of us, and we'll look at it. And we'll think, boy, that's pretty, that's shiny, I want that. And we don't stop to think really what we're walking into. And so the next time something looks maybe too good to be true, or maybe too good to to really happen to you in life, maybe you ought to stop just a minute and think and uh, ask God. You know, go to Him, ask Him. He's there for us, He's there with us every day. I've heard a lot of people say, well, God, He just left me. God's never left us, He's always there. The problem is, we leave God, but He's always right before we left Him. He's always there with us. So my prayer to you today, if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, that that would be the first thing you would do. You'd go to him. All you have to do is repent of your sins, ask him to forgive you. It says in Romans ten thirteen, for whoever's called upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And don't be like this old turkey here. Walk into something you really don't want to walk into. And we're all guilty of it. And sometimes we just need to slow down. Life gets a little too busy. And sometimes the reason it gets too busy because Satan lets us allow that. He causes that for, for us to get too caught up in the things of the world. And we really don't think things out. So next time something looks too good or, or you know, may not, may be too good to be true, stop and think. And regardless of what situation you're in, whatever's going on in your life, try this. Go to God every day and pray. Go to Him and ask Him to protect you, to look over you and your family. You'll be glad you did. Until next week, may God bless. Same time.